The release of Tinubu's academic records by Chicago State University, CSU, has raised questions about the authenticity of his certificate, confirming allegations made by Ataku. While some news outlets have suggested that CSU authenticated Tinubu's certificate, it's important to note that they did so after Ataku's lawyers released the documents to the public. This timing raises suspicions about their motives. It's crucial to emphasize that none of the certificate samples released by CSU match the certificate Tinubu submitted to INEC. Independent National Electoral Commission completely. This fact contradicts the notion that CSU authenticated Tinubu's certificate. Before the release of these records, CSU's attorney stated in court that they did not know where Tinubu obtained the certificate, indicating that it was never authenticated by the university. Tinubu had attempted to appeal the judgment in various courts before the release of these documents, but all his appeals were rejected. This suggests that he may have been aware that his certificate was not genuine and did not want it to be released to the public. Moreover, during the hearing, his lawyer accused Cesu of errors in the certificate they issued him, implying that the certificate was not the same as the original. These errors further cast doubt on the authenticity of the certificate. The reference to 1997 made by CSU's attorney during the lower court hearing was related to Tinubu's claim that CSU issued him a replacement certificate in that year. However, the fact that the certificate was signed by Mr. Daniel, who was not the president of CSU at the time, suggests that it may have been forged. The oral deposition will likely shed more light on these inconsistencies. One of the key questions that CSU needs to answer is why they did not issue a replica of Tinubu's 1979 certificate in 1997 if he had requested it. The discrepancies in dates, names, and other details in the documents from CSU need to be explained, as they suggest identity theft or forgery. The release of the records also revealed inconsistencies in Tinubu's date of birth, nationality, and other personal details. These discrepancies further raise doubts about the authenticity of the documents. In conclusion, the release of the academic records from CSU has not authenticated Tinubu's certificate, but has instead raised more questions about its legitimacy. The oral deposition and further investigation will likely provide more clarity on this matter, and it remains to be seen how the Supreme Court in Nigeria will decide when Atiku submits the evidence to them. If you are watching our video for the first time, I suggest you subscribe to our channel for more interesting and captivative information. Turn on the bell notification to get alert on all our recent posts so you won't miss out any Share your thought in the comment section and share these video with family, friends, and concerned Nigerians. Thanks for watching.